Hello everyone, this is Frank Harold, and this is how you record a voiceover using Avid Media Composer. This will be a file that will wind up in a bin and it will be just like any other audio clip or any other uh, object you might have imported into the bin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go Control or Command 7 on your keyboard. That opens up the Capture Tool. The Capture Tool is a pretty, pretty legacy item that still is used for uh, <clears throat> for capturing tape or for making an audio recording and right now we're going to this what we're going to do we're going to make an audio recording so I'm clicking on the two audio tracks I want to record on this will make us two mono tracks if I click under here I can make it a stereo track we'll make it two mono tracks next thing down to look at is make sure the audio is on your Windows mixer so that the the, the microphone or whatever is native to your to your computer will be used. If you come down here, it could be host 1394. That's the way you would have captured a videotape. But we're going to use the the mixer. I got to come back up here again and reactivate the tracks. Up here, this will open up an audio meter, and you can see right now it's already uh, registering the fact that I'm recording on it. And this one right here, toggle source. Right now, it's set to capture from a tape deck. I'm going to click away from that so it knows it's capturing audio just from a microphone. Next thing down, give it a name. We'll call it test. And um, the bin that I'm going to put this this little uh, clip of audio, where's it going to go? Well, I have a couple of bins here. One of them is called sound, and I'd like it to go into that bin. That's all we have to do here. The only other thing I have to do is come at the very bottom here and click on this thing that says new tape because I have to assign a tape to it. So as soon as it's lit up and the way it is now, it's ready to go. So when I press this record button here, it's, gonna, it's going to begin capturing or recording the audio that I put on it. So once again, this has to be on toggle source. It has to be not on the deck setting like that. This simply opens up this audio tool. The Windows Mixer thing must be on Windows Mixer. Give it a name, give it a place, a bin to record it in, and come down to the bottom and just click on New Tape and you should be ready to go. So I'm clicking on that, just on the icon. I say OK and I can start recording right now. So bingo, we're recording. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Recording, recording, recording. I'm going to stop it. And now you can see over in the bin that's opened on the in the bin window here. Something called test. Put it in. It's now loaded in my source window. If I play it, so we're recording. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's the playback. That's how you record audio, a voiceover track in Avid Media Composer.